The Perfect Match is directed by Billy Woodruff. It starts Terrence Jenkins and uh, Cassie Ventura, and it's a story of a young playboy who he can't commit to a relationship, and he gets into a bet with his friends that if he gets into a relationship, they think that he will commit, and he says, no way, Jose. I like to just bounce around from girl to girl, and once you know it, he meets a girl, and then he ends up having feelings for her, and you can see this all in the trailer. The movie is basically told in the trailer, and if you want to just see a condensed version of it, it's all there. And honestly, this is a movie that I saw the trailer and I said, okay, this is going to be very formulaic. I know exactly what I'm going to get with this movie, and it's exactly what I got. It's an okay, somewhat romantic comedy, and it, it, it's kind of just an okay movie. I didn't expect to like it, and I didn't expect to hate it. I thought, okay, we'll see how this is. It could go one way or another, and it ended up being right in the middle. This movie didn't do anything to make me love it. It didn't do anything new that I haven't seen before, but it didn't do anything that I hated either. It, the performances all around were, were pretty solid. I didn't hate any of them. The main guy, he did a pretty good job of conveying some emotion sometimes. Most of the movie, he's kind of just like, you know, being all slick and whatever, and it, it gets a little tiresome because it's like, dude, you're complaining about this one girl that you're going out with, but you get all these other amazing hot girls. It's like, I don't care how awesome this one girl is. You you can get any girl, as you can see from the beginning of the movie, but whatever. He gets all hooked up on the one girl, and, and you don't really care too much about the whole story because it, it's such, like, first world problems, like... Dude, you're gonna get your heart broken. He's like, oh, I have never gotten my heart broken. And so when he does, he's like, oh, it's the end of the world. It's like, <laughs> this is what most people deal with, like, normally. So you need to, like, calm down because, uh, yeah, you got your heart broken, but you're rich. You got, like, a great job and all this stuff. And then they try to throw in problems like, oh, yeah, now he has, like, work problems. When in the beginning of the movie, he, like, loved his job and all that. But now, yeah, he has work problems. I don't know. The movie is so, like, just... Just, it's throwing at you problems that it's like, dude, you could deal with this. You have money, you're like, you have so much going on for you. And it, it, it does evolve a little bit, and it, try to, it tries to unri uh, uh, unravel a past that he has, that like, okay, this is why he can't trust girls, this is why, whatever. But you just end up not caring that much, because the movie isn't anything special. It doesn't do anything that you've never seen before, and it's kind of just paint by the numbers, Anyway, it's a pretty straightforward movie and pretty straightforward review here. I didn't hate the movie, I didn't love the movie, but it, it's it's a really in the middle kind of movie. I walked out going, eh, that was a movie. Like, I didn't have really any emotion, and for that reason alone, I'm going to have to go more towards the thumbs down towards the thumbs up, because I didn't walk out going, oh yeah, that was a good movie. I walked out going, eh, that was okay, so I'm going to have to go two and a half out of five, not a bad movie, not awful or anything, just in the middle, like, eh, it's okay. You don't have to rush out and see it, but if you end up seeing it, or if you get dragged to a date, you're not going to hate the movie. It's just okay. Nothing special. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, you can subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one, guys.